Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz. I'm an HP certified technician. So we're going to discuss first how to install a hard drive, but if you skip to minute four, we'll discuss how to install Windows 11 also. So first remove your battery and make sure that your laptop is unplugged and then you're going to start removing the screws, which I'm going to speed up for you because it's kind of a boring part of the video. And you're going to go ahead and take all the screws off your bottom of your computer or sometimes there is an easy access panel if you find that good for you. Also, if you find this video in any way helpful, please uh, like and share. And uh, th so this is as a HP certified technician is how I would go about replacing the hard drive. So take all the screws off the bottom in this particular model of HP. There's some screws hidden under the feet. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those so I can gain access to the inside. Uh, now to do this repair, it is good to have a screwdriver and a pry tool. Uh, also your screwdriver, if you find that it's not magnetized, uh, there's actually an easy fix for that. You can leave it on a strong magnet for about 20 minutes to half an hour and then it should be magnetized. You can also leave it overnight if you really want it strong. All right, so I'm gonna remove the DVD. Now I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pry uh, the case. There's a little seam right there and I'm gonna go ahead and put that pry tool in it and pry the bottom case and the palm rest apart. Being careful as I remove it. Okay, so one thing to note is that the motherboard, as you see, I removed the bottom case and the motherboard was attached to the palm rest. Now, occasionally you will actually be prying the palm rest off and the motherboard will be attached to the bottom case. Uh, not the case with this one. This one is kind of a common way. It's done with it attached to the palm rest. Okay, now this is what your hard drive looks like. I'm going to unscrew it from the uh, palm rest and then I'm going to slide it away from the port once I have it off then I'm going to remove the hard drive caddy sometimes uh, this particular one only has two screws attaching it to the hard drive sometimes it has four occasionally it would just have some sort of rubber holder uh, but this is a very common uh, hard drive caddy so I remove all the screws and remove that metal from the hard drive. And this is what your metal, I'm uh, sorry, not your metal. This is what your hard drive looks like. The size of this is 1.8 and this is a SATA connection. Uh, another popular size is 2.5. So if you find your hard drive's a little chunkier than this, then it's probably a 2.5. But if you aren't quite sure what kind of hard drive goes in your HP, you can always check your manufacturer site and look it up by your model. Your model, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and put the cat, a caddy back on the, uh, Putting it with making sure the orientation of the hard drive is the same. And once again, uh, you can always look it up by the model on the manufacturer's website, on HP's website, and you look it up by the model number, which is usually is located on the bottom of your computer, sometimes under the battery or just on the on the underneath when you look. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my screws back on. And I'm going to gently insert this back into the port like so and then I'm going to screw it back into position so that it won't move alright now let's back out of this frame and I'm going to go ahead and I am going to reassemble my laptop which I'm not going to show you how because you already sorry, saw how I disassembled it Okay, so how to install Windows 11. First thing, you're going to need to make a bootable Windows 11 USB. Uh, down below is a link on how to do that free at Microsoft.com. Now you're going to take your HP. You're going to plug that USB in that you've already created on Microsoft.com for free. I also have a link to the USB I used. Hit power and you're going to tap on F9. Uh, also, some models of HP, you need to hit Escape and then F9. So if F9 doesn't work, try Escape. Then you're going to select your USB and hit Enter. USB, uh, if you find it doesn't show up, maybe try a different port. It's going to start up like this. And it's going to do a bunch of stuff that looks like this before you get to the page you need. Okay, so now I'm at the Setup window. I hit Next and then Install Now. You accept all the that little checkbox right there and then hit Next. 
custom install. Now we're going to delete all these partitions off of, if you have two hard drives, only delete them off of the hard drive you want to install Windows on. But for me, I have one hard drive, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything. As a side note, you will lose all your information when you delete it. So I select the drive and hit next. Now this process will simply just take some time. It's going to do, do the getting ready files, ready for installation, you get your features, your updates. Each one of these steps takes a while. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit so that we don't have to wait. And then it's going to restart a couple times possibly. Um, you're going to get a couple different screens. All right, so now we're at the Windows 11 setup screen. Exciting, isn't it? Okay, so I'm in the United States, so that's what I'm picking. And then I hit yes. And then I keyboard, yes. I don't need an additional keyboard, so I'm gonna hit skip. I am not going to say I have internet. I'm going to set that up when I get in there because I don't want to be forced to sign in with my Microsoft account. I'm just going to make a local account with my name. I was going to put Dell, but you know what? I'll put my actual name. And hit next. I'll set up the password later. And I hit next for the privacy and accept. And then it's just going to load a little bit more. We're in the home stretch at this point, almost done. Depending on your computer, this can take uh, you know a varying amount of time. So be patient with your computer. Ta-da! Windows 11. So that is how you go about installing Windows 11 on your computer. Have any questions? Leave them down below. Thank you for your continued support of our channel, both through subscribing and through Patreon. Also, a big shout out to our fellow eggheads who purchase merchandise from our store. And as always, thank you for liking and sharing our videos. From one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.